Hello, it's Jimmy. Most of us are stuck indoors at the moment, but you can still explore a new city through fiction. Comma Press is a small publisher based in Manchester, and they have been publishing for about several, 15 years, I think, this series called Reading the City. And each volume focuses on one city. There's a huge list of cities that they've covered, and they get writers from that city to write stories set in that city and then publish a little volume. So you get a flavour of the fiction coming from that place and the fiction, because it's set there, the city might feature hugely in the story or it might just be casually mentioned as the setting. But through that variety of different voices from that place and different stories set in that place, but in different ways, you get an idea of what that city is like and what the culture of that place is like. So some of the many cities that are covered include Cairo, Tbilisi, Birmingham, Tehran, Tokyo, Rio, Gaza, Leeds, Havana and Liverpool. And there's even more than that. So whether one of those is a city you know or you'd like to know more about or you'd like to visit one day, or you've visited and want to be reminded of, or if you even lived there and just want to see what people have been writing about your city. I think it's a great series. It's a good excuse to pick up one of these books of short stories and check out the writing within. So another city that wasn't mentioned in that list I just gave, that there's a book of in this series, Reading the City, is The Book of Sheffield, A City in Short Fiction. Another nice thing about this series is the design. They've all got quite nice design covers. Um, I think it's a pretty series to have on your shelf. So there's 10 stories in here by writers from Sheffield or who grew up in Sheffield or who now live in Sheffield. They're all set in Sheffield. They're, it's only about 100 pages, so it's quite short, easy to get through, very accessible. Um, there's a great variety to the stories, different genres, set in different time periods, um, covering different topics, um, different experiences of life in Sheffield from different ages and different backgrounds. And because they're all so short, you really, it is, really is like a taster menu of different experiences of Sheffield and different perspectives on Sheffield and just different stories that are informed by the writer having grown up in Sheffield or lived in Sheffield. So it gives that great taste of the different sides of Sheffield. And for an indication of some of the variety, three of the stories that stuck out to me, one is called The Father Figure by Jeff Nicholson. And it, the core theme of it is someone who has been mourning the death of their father. Um, which struck a chord with me, partly because my dad died last year and that's been on my mind a lot. Um, but also, he, the uh, narrator of the story goes and sits in the Sheffield Botanical Gardens and is thinking about that and then has a weird and quite funny experience uh, bumping into somebody in... So go and read the story, I won't spoiler it for you. But the combination of place and theme... Um, resonated a lot with me. Another one that was really interesting is called Born on a Sunday Silent by Desiree Reynolds. And um, there's a little bit of context provided for the story that I'll just read straight from the page. It says that over 100 Africans were brought over to Sheffield for entertainment in December 1902. Kai Akusua Mansa an Ashanti baby is buried in a common grave in Sheffield General Cemetery. Born 1902, died in infancy 1902. So that's a bit of context provided by the author and the story builds off of that. So that's confronting Sheffield's place in Britain's colonial past and it's looking at some of the um, some of the artefacts and the places in Sheffield, like in the General Cemetery, that speak to a complicated and nuanced history. It's not all just lovely sitting in the nice botanical gardens. Um, so it gives you a flavour of that richness. 
And the third story I was going to mention is called Like a Night Out in Sheffield by Johnny Pitts. And as the title suggests, it kind of describes a night out in Sheffield. And it touches on themes of class and the relationship between the locals and the students. So the main character is a young person, sort of university student age, who's get going to student club nights basically, but is not a student himself. He's from a more working class background and works in a shop. So it touches on those themes. So that's just three out of the 10 stories and already you can see the variety of voices that are represented, the variety of topics covered and the different settings. And it all gives you a bit of a sense of what Sheffield is like and any of the cities in that list you know, any city is going to have so many people from different backgrounds and different cultures with different lives and experiences. So I think that is just an example of how rich these uh, the books in this series can be. So I'd recommend pick a city that you're interested in or you like the sound of and give one of the books in this series a try. And there's bound to be a story in there that you love. Um, and there's such variety, maybe there'll be one that you don't like but it's well worth a go and I'm looking forward to reading more in the series. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've read some of these books, recommend one to me. What should I read next from this series? And I'll catch you later.